Get the establishing shot first, and then we'll continue with the plot. <clears throat> Are you ready? What's happening? Uh, I have schmutz on my face. I'm sick, so I was blowing my nose. I got bits of toilet paper on my no on my face. I'm very good. How are you? How are we feeling today? It's okay. You can't see me in San Antonio. Um, good morning. Good morning. How did you know I was on a smoke break? Bronson Peters. I just figured. Hey, bets. Hey, bets. Why? Um. Mm -hmm. I know. I figured as I was doing the. I figured the toilet paper cocaine thing. I'm just digging my own grandmother, or perhaps I'm highlighting the difference between a point I'm trying to make, or rather making it more difficult for myself. I don't know. Um, mm. Vape. Speaking of vape. Oh, y'all ain't ready. Y'all ain't ready for my vape. Bitch. Oh, girl. This is my Alyssa Edwards. Oh, girl. See it again. See it again, girl. It's a work in progress. So, I have a, wonder I have a bunch of things to show you. Yes, I do. Yes, indeed, I do. My apartment is trashed right now. Absolutely trashed, darling. Um, so here we go. Let's see if you can teach me how to use this vape. The time has come for you to lip sync for your lungs. Good luck. And please don't get lung cancer. Here we go. I'm going to put on another light. Because <clears throat> it's quite dark in here. And then. There we go. Always a bit more light. Oh. Oh. Can you handle it? I mean, can you even? Oh, bitch. Is there more? Oh, yeah. Old school? New school. Both red, white, and black. So, <clears throat> here we go. Let's see if I can do it right. No, I didn't do it right. How do I do it? And why does it get so warm? Am I doing it right? <laughs> what do I do suck harder but yes the juice is in there no I don't know how to vape that's the whole fucking problem yes the juice is in there juice is in there Drag harder, but it hurts my lungs. Breathe in real hard directly into your lungs. I think that's the problem. You're not supposed to breathe it into your mouth, but. <clears throat> that's not it. I'm pressing the button. Fuck you. <laughs> <clears throat> I also have just actually a cough, so. That's not making these, that's not making matters any worse. Just push the button. Yes, it's charged. It's charged 100%. You need to check the settings. Of what? Do coke is classier. Yeah. That's great advice. Stupid. Um, set your wattage. I've set the wattage to 42. Blow first, then suck. Okay, hold on. You realize that I'm the general public, you're needing to teach me how to vape. Okay. No, I think the wattage needs to be higher. I've turned the wattage up to 46. Let's see how it goes. burned me. I think something's wrong. It burned me. Well, it's too hot. 
It's too hot. It's just tobacco. It's not to... It's just whatever. Why does she need to be set to 100? I don't believe you at all. Well, the title of this periscope is I work for NASA and I'm a rocket scientist. However, it is abundantly clear to me that none of you are rocket scientists. So, I'm going to hide the chat for now. Whoops. Hide the chat. Yeah. So, I'm going to hide the chat for now and um, stick to my analog method of um, acquiring lung cancer, which is just a good old-fashioned cigarette, darling. Um, although I do now have a handy dandy little um, weed vape because uh, marijuana cigarette smoke, marijuana cigarettes, marijuana smoke is extremely harsh on the lungs, darling. So this one is a little bit uh, easier. Little red light to indicate a flame, synthetic, technologically produced flame, no tar. And uh, it's wonderful. So, okay. Um, so, here's a funny thing that happened. So, I went to... Um, whatever. I went to um, Durham, North Carolina for a gig. And was I got to work with Coco Montrese, Roxy Andrews, uh, Dora Delano, um, Bob the Drag Queen. It was, uh, it was so fun. And I got to see um, Candy... Uh, um, so Candy, Candace, who, I forget what her last name is, but she is, she is like Naomi Smalls' bigger sister, uh, bigger, older sister. Nothing big about Candace, um, except her fucking long ass legs. These two women are, um, just f mathematical wonders of physical human proportion. They're so incredible and nice and generous and just, we had a blast. But... After the show, or during the show, before my second number, I met this couple. And I forget, I've, I don't know how to contact them, which is really a bummer, but I'm sure I'll get in, talk to, I'll, I'm sure I'll get in contact with them somehow. I put, I put a post up on my Instagram of them. The guy's name is Jordan, and uh, his girlfriend's name is Carla. And um, I don't talk about the name Carla a lot, but for some reason it is my favorite girl's name. If I were going to... Um, I, I, a bunch of times in my life I had thought about transitioning into... A woman, right? Um, so, but I realized for me at this point in my life, it's not really worth it, or and it's not, and it's certainly not an imperative um, in terms of my day to day functioning. Otherwise, I probably would have just done it. You know, that's the reality of a lot of trans folks is that they just do it no matter what. I mean, it's not easy, or um, it's never cheap or easy um, or convenient to become another gender. <laughs> it's just not, <clears throat> you know. To and it. Uh, so, anyways. But I met this couple, and immediately I looked at the guy, and I thought to myself, that's my that's my dream boyfriend. Absolute dream boyfriend. Everything about his physicality, his demeanor, his physical features, the features of his personality that were uh, immediately apparent, um, the fact that he was with um, a girl like me, a, um, uh, in that she was, um, you know, trans. I don't know her story, and I'm not trying to, like, you know. She's just a very evolved, cool, with it, happening, hot, smart trans girl and um and so he was an uh oh god they just i wanted to just be their friend so bad and i really wanted to be his boyfriend and have him or have him be my boyfriend um and i told him that a million times <laughs> and um they're fans of mine she's carla's a fan i, I hope it's carla i maybe i hope i'm not imagining that her name is carla because carla is my favorite name so this was just a strange thing. He was wearing um, a Patriots cap backwards because he's from Massachusetts. And um, just the coolest guy. So fucking sexy. And I, se sexiness is, of course, subjective. Um, everybody has their types, which is great because there's so many different types of people. It's, it, it's, we need that to happen. It's not just like Brad Pitt is sexy for everybody and that's it. Some people find this sexy. A scraggle of dishwater blonde greasy hair perched very high up top, a 34-year-old skull. Um, so he, I was just so smitten with him. That's love at first sight. Love at first sight is not um, a real thing, but I had love at first sight with him and also this really gorgeous guy before that too. Um, love at first sight about six to 12 times a day. 
that's the ticket. That's when you know you're, you're making your way through life and interacting with humanity. Can't very well have love at first sight, as if all we do is play World of Warcraft. And then I guess it's not too unreasonable to assert that falling in love with a video game character is partly healthy. Um, in any case, so he's wearing a NASA shirt. He's wearing a NASA shirt. It's a really cool shirt. I cannot overstate how much I want to have sex with this guy. I mean, I want you so bad. I mean, so bad. So bad. Uh, more than that, I want to, like, kiss him and hug him and all that stuff and, like, figure out what kind of vacation should we go on today, lover? Shall we go to Cabo or wine country? And so, um, but, uh, where, where he's with her and they're happily married, in fact. Um, and I told them, as I told every couple I, I interacted with over the last few days, you know, listen, it didn't work out for Brangelina in the end, and it was ten, you know, ten long, strong, complicated years. But um, but they broke up, and that's okay, and that doesn't mean that um, that their relationship was a failure. No, in fact, it was just probably a great relationship that needed to end for whatever reason, and uh, you and me are not their friends, so we don't need to know. Um, so anyways, he was wearing a NASA shirt. So then I joked with, um, the special effects makeup artist who was, um, who did Violet's makeup in the finale of season eight. Um, I don't know if it would be going out online to say that that has been by far the best outfit, best present, visual presentation of oneself that the show has ever seen, her dress and the skull crown and everything. Um, the best the show has ever seen, I think, without a doubt. And perhaps, although perhaps... It would be a little bit cocky and, and, and maybe underestimating the talents of future contestants, but I would say the best it ever will see. Um, Violet Chachki, yes, God. So, um, and then, so Gage Munster, of course, is the one, is the guy who did the flesh crown, and um, he's going to be doing my makeup for the season uh, All Stars 2 reunion, which we shoot on Tuesday. And I am, um, he's going to do something lovely on my face. Um, that's a metaphor and also just cool. Um, it's actually like a tri pronged metaphor because what you see, if I had the comments, I would wait for you to say, isn't always the truth. And what you say isn't always the truth either. Um, so that's fun. And I'm going to wear, so I think I finalized my outfit. It's really pretty. Uh, it's a collaboration of me. A designer that I've never met but want to, and then um, another designer that I've never met but want to, and um, Gage Munster and Courtney Act generously loaned me some eyeball jewelry today, which, how the fuck is Courtney Act sitting on an unused um, arsenal of eyeball jewelry? Hater. Um, so that's fun. And then, um, so the point is, Gage Munster had uh, dinner with him and his awesome friend, Camila, tonight, who I want to be their friend so bad. Please be my friend. Um, and... Uh, he was wearing, guess what? I had joked about falling in love with Gage Munster or trying to convince him to fall in love with me, but he won't. It's fine. Um, he was wearing a NASA shirt. And I'm in love with him. I mean, I'm not, I, I mean, I'm in love with him in, in as much as like, I, I really, I think he's so hot and he's so cool and I want to be his boyfriend and I'm, I'm not his type, which is totally fine. Um, but uh, I, uh, I, so yeah, he was wearing a NASA shirt. So I think it's a symbol um, that I am, um, I'm doomed to spend the rest of my life on a Russian space station. <laughs> it's the only thing that'll keep the cancer from eating me alive. Yes, that's a contact reference. And if you know what? <laughs> two men, two love of my two loves of my life. If love at first sight involves NASA, I think that's a good sign about extraterrestrial life. It could be the universe's joke of saying that your standards are too high. So you're literally what you're doing when your standards are too high, you're saying that Life on Earth is insufficient enough to provide me with lasting love. <laughs> we have to look to other planets. If that's not loving yourself too much, I don't know. What is, Barbara? Um, oh, also went on a canyon run today. with um, uh, We ran a Runyon Cannon, me and Courtney. She's a very good influence on my life and health. Physical, mental, spiritual health, mother. It's a three-pronged approach to us living a choice life. Uh, so that's fun. And then, um, I think that's probably it. I'm excited to do the reunion. I'm excited to talk about the truth. Because if the truth is not the point of this reunion, well, then I don't know what it is. 
we have to, our challenge at this reunion, and you heard it here first, Mama, yes, God, um, our challenge as, as drag queens and public personalities in, in an arena that has a lot of spotlight on it, granted, you know, relative, of course, but more than most, um, our challenge is to find, discuss, take apart, dissect, um, try to describe the truth, all the while keeping it fun and entertaining. That's what we have to do. I th I have full, I have full faith in our in our um, ability to do that. Certainly in my own, I have to. I'm going to have to rein myself in at a few points, and I might become emotional. But I think that uh, you have my word that if I do start crying, I'll start. I will try to stop because I've been very emotional lately. Uh, I'll try to stop only so that I can get out what I need to get out. Sometimes that's the only shitty thing about crying is that you can't say what you need to say. Like, if you're really crying and, and the emotions are real, then it's important, right? Whether it's important to you or, or, or to a larger context that, of course, is, you know, variable. But if you're crying about something, it's important. So, um, uh, yeah, that's the only thing. Like, if you've been ever, if you have to speak at a funeral, I had to uh, read something at my grandmother's funeral. And if I had had to uh, read something that I had wrote, like a personal, um, anecdote like I could never cry I could never speak at my mother's funeral I would be too emotional I would cry before I got up there I wouldn't be able to physically say the words and communicate the message that I wanted to um, because you know like if you've ever had to do an acting experience where you have to cry you, you like the 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 rookie or the novice will just immediately say okay what's the what's the saddest thing I can think of and to me it's always my mother dying the saddest thing I can think of is if my mother were to die tomorrow, because tomorrow would be untimely. Um, she's in great health and she's happy and she's fully aware of us and of everything. So, um, and she's young, you know, she's probably, well, she's born in 56. My mother, Patricia Ann McCook, nay, Patricia Ann Morin, born December the 10th, 1956. Daughter of Albert Morin and Roberta Morin, nay, Roberta, Something or other, I can't quite recall my grandmother's maiden name at this point, it doesn't matter. Born in Roslindale, Mass. Brother, Albert Morin, Jr. Sister, Priscilla Morin. Younger sister, older brother. She was, in fact, the middle child. Um, so that's, that's my mum, in a nutshell. Um, and then also, so my mother was was, is, she's not dead, Deborah. take a note, write it in puffy paint, whatever will make you remember, um, she's, uh, she's the coolest person I know, my mother is the coolest, most wonderful person I know, that's a fact, that's a fact of my life, incontrovertible, unambiguous fact, you don't know her, yeah, so, um, she's, uh, really cool. So, fi help me figure this out. 56, turn the chat back on. Um, Patricia Ann is indeed the real queen. Um, uh, let's see. What was I talking about? 60. She'll be 60 this year. My mother will be 60 this year. Can you imagine what it's like being 60? Well, ask her in about four months. My dad is 62. Um, Fifi's not going to the reunion. Fifi will not, in fact, be going to the reunion. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, everybody wants to talk about Fifi. Okay, I'll just say two things about Fifi. A, leave the fuck alone. And B, um, I love her and respect her and, and wish... And, and I know that in my heart and all of you motherfuckers and everybody else should know at the end of the day... Not only it is, not only is it what it is, but that Fifi O'Hara uh, slash Jeremy Carey is, is worthy of all the love, dignity, and respect that every human fucking being is worthy of. So, sh sh ugh, you know, and he knows that, and he's going to be fine. He's going to be fine. Um, but I, I will say something about him at the reunion um, that points to a larger issue. You know, uh, Fifi is, uh, is, I think, I don't want to be, I don't want to, because Fifi does not need me to defend her in any way, shape, or form, um, and I hope that he knows at some point that I love her. We're not great friends. We've never hung out. Uh, we've only hung out once by ourselves without cameras. And um, 
in the hotel room in LA um, while we were doing rehearsal for bots and just for a few minutes. And I think he thinks I'm too weird, but it's okay. I think he's really attractive. I'd love to have sex with him, just FYI. Um, but, um, anyways, uh, I w the, the point about Fifi is a larger issue that I want to talk about. So, um, and they, I, you better believe I'm going to talk about it. So he's, but he's the pointer in this scenario. In with the, the, you can't get hung up in the finger. You know, it's an old Buddhist or Zen thing. It's like the finger points at the moon, and the moon is the issue. But don't get caught up on the finger. The finger then, after pointing at the moon, goes right up my pussy hole. Um, so then. I know it would be a blessed Kai Kai. Adora is, in fact, going to the reunion. Yes, God. Um, does Fifi know what, darling? Does Fifi know what? Finger my moon hole. Anus. The finger in the moon, anus. See, the, Drag Race provides metaphors. For you, girl, you just got it. Like, there, there's, we're rolling in metaphors here. <laughs> um, metaphors, imagery, analogies. Folk tales, morals, it's all there if we look at it. So, um, I got on a tangent, big, big uh, surprise there. Any, any questions, darling? My chocolate cake from the last up Periscope was a little chocolatey. It was a little moist for my, I like it dry. Goon is here. Goon is always here. That's the nature of Goon. Whether she has seen, heard, or felt, her presence is ubiquitous. Dab. Comics. You like cake or you don't like cake? Lily, I can't take you. There's no guests allowed. And uh, Gage has to be my only guest because he's doing my makeup. There's one assistant allowed. And that is it. Tight set. Closed set. No social media, darling. Everything must be kept a secret because we are taping this then and releasing it later. My picture is not hung crooked. The sofa is curved and the angle is distorted. By the camera. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't know. It could be crooked. I don't know. What foundation do I use? I use um, I use foundation. The the brand is called Derma Blend, and the color I use is True Beige Chroma Number Two, and sometimes I highlight with Pale Ivory, which is Chroma Zero, but I find that it's unnecessary to buy two pots of Derma Blend because it's quite expensive. It's about thirty six dollars an ounce, um, but a little bit goes a long way, which is why it's also helpful to supplement. With um, j with heavier but perhaps cheaper brands like what I love this this pot it's about this big and it's um that thick by Ben Nye it's a really creamy heavy foundation it's fabulous, um and then I um even I get a concealer stick from uh, Nyx it's in uh, a light color that's what I use as my uh, highlight I go like boop 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 scrape it down the nose and then pat the chin with it and it's wonderful it's really it's cheap too it's like ten bucks. Okay, Queen of Foundation. My favorite makeup products. I don't really have favorites. I mean, I don't. I don't get excited all that much about makeup anymore. I get excited about like beauty makeup doesn't really excite me because I'm getting older and now I'm like trying to embrace more of the grotesque. Um, so I get more excited about special effects makeup. But that's a whole that's a whole can of worms that I can't um, and I can't open myself. So I get I get excited by the people who do open those cans, which is like Gage and other cool makeup artists like Jordan who's going to be doing um oh by the way I'm also filming a music video um it's a huge project I'm directing and and starring in a music video of my own writing and directing um for the stage show it'll be the crown jewel in this in the live stage performance and it's um it's it's music that I didn't write but music that I love it's an instrumental song and um it's gonna be cool really really cool and that's um we're filming that October 10th and 11th in um, San Francisco, uh, in wine country, Sonoma. Um, and it's at this beautiful estate, and um, uh, Detox is going to be in it, and it's going to be so cool. 
it's like you can't have no idea how cool it's gonna be like I haven't it's all I've been thinking about for the last I don't know I've been listening to the song for like three years four years five years maybe maybe five years um and I'm so excited it's gonna, I'm spending a lot of money on it but we're also enlisting the help it's like a huge collaborative effort which is what makes it so exciting um and then I'm so tired. Petaluma. I want a boyfriend. <laughs> but on Tuesdays and Fridays only. <laughs> Tuesday night. We'll have dinner and intercourse. Perhaps a bit of conversation. Let's keep it breezy though. And then on Friday. No, let's see. I like a boyfriend, but sort of, I don't know. I'm not, I'm so I'm really busy. So... I guess I don't want to be presumptuous and I know it's not very likely that our schedules would sync up compatibly but I don't feel it's too out of line to request a sort of thickish, tall, big bodied, um doesn't have to be Latino, doesn't have to be quite any race but I don't like pasty white folks unless they're really, really interesting and woken up. So um, I, like, I like Asians, you know, I like Latinos, I like blacks, I like um, Filipinos, and um, I like Germans and Italians and I like Canadians, really. Long hair is short, doesn't matter. I prefer dark, but we'll take any color, hair, texture doesn't, I don't mind it. Could even be not there at all. Baldies are nice. Um, physical fitness, not I lo I'd love it if you could do f a few things with your body because then you could help me do things with mine and, um, you know, pick me up. Don't like to be fucked, though. Just don't like the sensation, but I'm willing to try it again if, you know, we really click. And then, um, I don't know, age range, anywhere between 20. I mean, I'm getting older. Say 25, a really mature 22, perhaps raised by wolves, um, all the way up to 50. You know, like R. Kelly famously said about his underage um, girlfriend, Leah, age ain't nothing but a number. And she said it, she said it too, and that made it weird. Rest in, rest in peace, Leah. I feel like everything in the pop scene would be different now if you were here. So, yeah, if you could get back to me, I don't know if anybody's out there, but I am quite desperate, but not too desperate. It's just, if you think I'm joking, then that's good, um, but I'm not really... Um, I'm going to go now because i got to go to bed. Big day tomorrow. Have a nice night. Goodbye.